an R4 card in 2025. What can you do with it? And is it still worth buying? So here I've got two DSIs and two 3DSs. The left side are modded, so technically they don't need an R4 card. Check out my other video on that if you want. The right side are not modded yet, and we're gonna see what happens with all of these devices with an R4 card. Now, as a kid, I used to have these R4 cards, but they don't work anymore because apparently R4 cards have a time bomb. And I will show you how to disable it in this video. Okay, so I got the R4 card gold for 3DS and below. Apparently the website is now r4i-sdhc.com. The site from the old cards, r4isdhc.com, didn't work anymore. So that's also not a good sign. Apparently you can brick these cards depending on the firmware. If you put the wrong firmware on them, you can brick the cards. But also these have time bombs of four years and these things are from like 2011 or something maybe at max probably older like 2008 or 9 but uh, yeah so these are basically they're done for so yeah i've bought this one it's a 2024 edition i don't mind it because i'm gonna remove the time bomb so it shouldn't just last three years it should last all of its lifetime basically and it supports all the latest games multi-language and up to a 32 gigabyte sd card so no your 256 gigabyte card is not gonna work and you don't need it because nintendo games aren't that big anyways let me show you what the card itself looks like it's a bit tricky with one hand but you open it up like this and inside you have the actual card oh it says 2025 now huh it said 2024 in the title but that's good news, so I guess it lasts until 2029 with the time bomb. But behind the card is a micro SD reader, which you will need to put your games on your micro SD card, of course. Now, I didn't get an SD card because I already have a lot of them, so uh, yeah. Anyways, you put the SD card in here after we're done. So let me show you what you have to do on your computer to get this working. Okay, so some people use an SD formatter tool uh, you can Google which one you want to use. Uh, I think all of them work. I think even in Windows it works. So let me show you. I have the USB inserted with an 8 gigabyte SD card, which is under the 32 gigs. Now you go to format and in here, make sure it's FAT32. And the allocation unit size, I think this is fine. But let's just give it a name, R4, and uh, press quick format, press OK. There we go. And now we're going to the website that is on this card, which is r4isdhc.com. So their site is down, but to fix this, we're just going to look it up and make sure you select the right R4 card firmware. So I'm going to look up R4 SDHC Gold Pro 2024 firmware. Should work for 2025. Now this looks exactly like the one I have. There's only two or three different R4 cards out there. So I'm going to risk it for the video anyway. So I'm going to press English. I'm going to extract the zip file. And in here, I'm going to copy all of this and go to my R4 8 gigabyte micro SD and paste it. Now once this is pasted, I'm going to try it in one of the unmodded DSIs. Okay, so I forgot to record on my actual camera here, but basically I plugged the card in and it showed up as Bomberman and uh, you press play and we saw the R4i menu pop up, which is correct. And uh, yeah, your old R4 cards are either bricked or time bombed, aka bricked. So uh, just buy a new one if you don't want to mod your DSi, which is very easy by the way check out my tutorial then just get a new one and remove the time bomb which i will show you in this video too but because we don't have any games on there let's take it out put it back in our computer and put a game on there to see if it really works so i think what we can do is make a new folder and call it games and in this folder i'm gonna put my dump game so i don't need the cartridge and this should be enough so let me eject it and put it back into the Nintendo DSi. Okay, so back with the DSi, 
Let's turn it on and see if this worked. So it shows Bomberman, press start. We get the R4i menu, go to game, file ID, there it says Pokemon Hard Gold, press A, creating a save file, and let this load. I think the first time is the longest loading time because it has to create that save file, some other files. So uh, don't worry about it. It was pretty fast though. And as you can see, 2010 Pokemon Game Freak presents, and boom, Pokemon Hard Gold. So do our four cards work in 2025? Yes. Is it easier to just mod your DS and not have to worry about a card at all? Uh, yes and no. I mean, this will just work on any DS DSi that you own, but it obviously costs you around five to 10 bucks, which is not too bad, but obviously we still need to take out the time bomb. So let me try that and show you. Okay, so after some Googling and YouTubing and whatever forums, there's two ways to beat the time bomb. The first easy one is to set back your date on your Nintendo so the time bomb thinks it has years to go. Now to dodge the time bomb altogether, there's this thing called YS Menu made by Yasu and 2CH. First of all, check if your card is in this list. Now, in my case, it will fall under these 2014, 2019 cards. Yes, it says 2025 on it, but you saw the card works. And in here, in the version, it says 2016, and it works on the 2025 card, because guess what? They're the same card. Now, you might be able to find another version of this menu that works on your R4 card with the time bomb already removed, please, make sure it works for your specific card uh, go google all you want i'm probably gonna use the method where i just reverse the time to like 2020 or something like that so it has nine years to run out and then once it runs out i'll probably just minus five years it again and it will just work so yeah before i wrap it up i want to show you that it works on my modded 3ds yes i have put stickers on it as a kid womp womp whatever it takes a bit to boot up because as i said it's modded there we go it even has this nice little soundtrack so this is modded already with the sd card again it even has super mario 64 anyways check out that video now my card reader is kind of fucked on this which is also one of the reasons why i did the modded route on this one but as you can see bomberman shows up i can even do the, the the blowing thing on it which is fun let's select it and as you can see give it a second it's loading this is literally the first try you press a and it shows up your game list and yes, it is a DS game. I already have my dumb 3DS games on the modded SD card. So yeah. But as you can see, it works also on a modded 3DS, which already has the SD card with my games on it. I hope this video helped you out. Please comment down below if it did. Links to an R4 card, which also helped me out, are down below. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't. Join my Discord server, and I'm actually doing a Pokemon Hard Gold live stream series on my YouTube as well as my Twitch, so please make sure to follow that as well. And uh, yeah, happy gaming everyone! See you next time. Peace!